Hey guys, welcome to Drupal Land. Today we are going to see how to install commerce on a Drupal fresh installation. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and log in. Find up the terminal. I'm using Lando, so just go Lando, composer, back here, Drupal slash commerce. So it is downloading all the commerce dependent modules. As you can see here. It's done. Let's go ahead and install the modules. Search for Kamas. You can see here, and uh, we'll choose whatever that we are in need of. But these are the basic modules needed for Kamas complete flow. Card checkout order. We need payment for now, but we do need price. We need product promotion store. And we don't need tax either. Go ahead and install. Now it'll ask for some dependent modules, which are the ones it actually downloaded, as you can see. Token state machine entity. So we're asking whether to enable those or not. Go ahead, click on continue, which would install those modules as well. To make sure the commerce flow is functioning properly. It's done for all the 16 modules has been enabled. Now you can see the commas tab is here. And now we need to add a store. Store type. Let's go ahead and create a product then. Yeah, products can be created until the store has been added. You can add new store. Here's where you give your details. For example, now do this. Once you've added a store, go ahead and create a product. You can add product now. Let's just say I'm creating a product named T-shirt. And click on save and add variations. Variations is where you control the price and uh, create the SKU for the product as well. The SKU is unique to product as it says here. So since it's a t-shirt, let's just say ES as a prefix and we give a number starting from 100. And let's just the price is 200 INR. The list price is something we can come to later. Now let's just go ahead, click on save. Now, if you go ahead and view the product, as you can see, the price is being listed. You can click on add to cart and then proceed to your cart. And then from, you can go to checkout. And then you have an order and further information. But beyond this, you'll be needing payment as well, which we will need to enable. Now let's just go to the product for now. So, you can edit the product. You can add some description for this product. For example, this is body. Save this. You can see the description as well. Products, local products, we can add an alias for this. 
here let's just say t-shirt probably along with our code which is ds101 see t-shirt under so that's it guys today we have seen how we installed Drupal Commerce and created a simple product out of it in the following tutorials we can see how we can add a payment and proceed with placing an order as well thanks for watching guys make sure you subscribe to my channel for following videos